Many small family hatchbacks could be accused of playing it quite safe on the looks front, but the Mazda 3 has always put style right at the top of its list of priorities. Exterior looks are only part of the overall picture though, and Mazda has put a lot of effort into the interior of its new car as well. It has got more space, a new infotainment system, and a whole host of plush new materials. But is that enough to please the current and potential Mazda owners that we've got here today? Well, I think from the, the outside appearance, it's just absolutely amazing. It is absolutely fabulous in, 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 in the lines and, and the shape. The evolution has been amazing in just one sort of generation. I think the, the, the slightly aggressive nose and, and the beautiful sloping lines at the side, the, the way they all, the waves sort of mix together to, to, to just make a beautiful, beautiful shape. The uh, support of the front seats is very, very, very nice. They're softer than uh, on my current Mazda 6 and uh, uh, they hold you extremely well. Plastic seems extremely solid, um, tactile, and uh, um, I think they'll last a very long time. Very elegant car. I was deciding whether it was male or female. I think it's a sassy female car. The lines, the sleek lines, the kind of sophisticated interior. On this particular model, I like the two-tone. Um, I like the attention to detail, the stitching detail. Easy to sit in. Really good legroom. Yeah, that's one thing I was looking for, actually. Very comfortable and, and enough space. Um, and the boots are a really good size. The fixed parcel shelf, which seems to be a regression from the new 6 and the CX-5 that's got a flexible parcel shelf. I've had a rigid parcel shelf in every car I've owned since I was 18, um, so it seems like a bit of a step back. I really like the family branding. Uh, I like the way that they followed through with certain characteristics of the cars, so you really know that you're in a Mazda, you're looking at a Mazda, you're driving a Mazda. The continuity is lovely and I think that's, it's just, that's a really strong branding point. It's, it's a fantastic shape. Uh, it's, it's aggressive from the front uh, and it's sleek from the side. Lots of contour changes. And how could you not like the shape of this car? It's going to be very popular, it must be. It's just got that, I'm here and I'm gonna come and grab the road. Comfortable, light driving position. The seat adjustment uh, being electric is fine, but if, if there's two drivers, that's a bit of a problem because this model lacks memories. The touchscreen is, there's, there's a lot in it, so there's a lot to explore there. What I don't like about this model is the fact that that looks as though it should slide down or hinge down, uh, but it doesn't. It? I think it's... Uh... For a small car, yes, it's, it's, it's got everything. It's got the wow factor as well. It look, looks right. Um, having leather seats and heated seats, my wife would love that. Um, rain sensors and light sensors. Again, it seems to have most, most items a, a larger car would have. It's nice to actually see then a, a comfortable car with reasonable amount of space for boot. We're sort of thinking of having a, a dog in the future, so yes, a dog would more or less fit in there. I've got a Jaguar at the present time, and I'd say, yeah, it, you're, you're getting close to that sort of quality. And Mazda has also got reputation for uh, longevity. I can, can't but compare a Mazda 6 with a Mazda 3. And top of the range one, they appear to be similar prices. So are you getting that much better car as a comparison? Pricing for the new Mazda 3 starts at just over £16,500 and goes up to just over £23,000. Initially, you'll get to choose between two petrol engines and one diesel, and the first cars head to customers in January 2014. We have already driven it though, so head to whatcar.com for our full road test and for more information.